And so the question is, is this a rangefinder problem, right? Was the rangefinder they used not actually able to do what it needed to do in space, in the in the environment of space, but maybe in testing it did all along? How many times has that laser rangefinder been tested in space? And I know, <laughs> I know I'm sounding like my professors that I was always at odds with in school about flying only flight heritage hardware, flight heritage being something that's flown in space before, right? That is a real thing in the space industry. And while I think when I was in school in the, this is end of the space shuttle era, when I was in school for that, it was almost like a an orthodoxy of thought, right? It was like, you can't fly anything unless it has a very long list of flight heritage, which really limited what you could send up to space. And companies like SpaceX and others like Rocket Lab have have shown that you can fly new hardware and test new hardware quickly and show that it actually does work in space or maybe it doesn't and then you can move on and try the next hardware design you know and here we are with a company with japan where they're trying to do it for the first time right 